Okay, fair enough. Not the answer I would have given, but you are the lawyer. You choose to what you say, so thank you. And we will draw the cases to a close there. And thank you both, lawyers. You've both been surprisingly eloquent and good at what you do. I said, it's the first time you've been in a courtroom with Mr. J in the, uh, the seat of the lawyers, and I've been very pleased, especially with your line of questioning. You've been pertinent and on point with everything. And uh, Mr. Bro, I have been very pleased with the way that you have presented your case and the calmness that you've managed to bring through with it, since it is your first time in court ever. And it is rather intimidating when the other lawyer suddenly comes out with a very pertinent question and the judge says, he's right. So you've done an excellent job there as well. So well done to both the lawyers on that front. So what we're going to move to now is the amendments phase. As we know, amendments are amendments you wish to make to your case relating to information that you have learned from the other lawyers. I'm aware that Mr. J wants to make some amendments, so we might actually hear something from this point. So we will start with Mr. J. Mr. J, would you like to make any amendments to your case? Now, um, because I have a terrible memory, I can't remember why I wrote this down, but I do remember writing down during a situation where I, I said to myself, I've screwed up. When did I do that again? I forget. Uh, this was in relation to um, he is a vet and the death certificate, I believe, is uh, the yes. point that you brought um, up. At the time that he uh, that we discovered that his handwriting was utterly appalling, I turned around and noticed him celebrating the fact that nobody could read his handwriting. An innocent man would not do this. Why would a man start celebrating? So you'd like to put the amendment in place that um, he purposely wrote poorly so nobody could understand what was on the certificate itself. I also was thinking of doing something else, but my memory is terrible and I forgot to erase it down, so I do, we'll forget about well, that. Let, let's run with that one. Is that the amendment you're putting forward? Yes, I would like to keep that amendment. Uh, I'd like to hear what the defence has to say in relation to this amendment from the defence lawyer. Mr. Bro, uh, do you have anything to say about this amendment? Um, no, but I think he was raising his hand for something. He was, and I will allow him to have a word with you if you'd like to explain the handwriting i will allow that because i haven't accepted the amendment yet you will get the opportunity to put more amendments forward we're dealing with the first one mr J, no so. i was just adding more to this amendment he was not putting his hand up he was performing a double dab i'm aware he was performing a dab there i watched him but now he was putting his hand up whilst you were putting the amendment forward here as if he wanted to oh ask a i question was not worrying about that one, sorry. I trust me, I did see the dab, and it, it did perk an eyebrow, and I hope the jury noticed the dab, but uh, Mr. Spread, did you want to explain about your handwriting? Uh, no, it was about... Never mind. All right, Mr. Bro, do you have anything to say in relation to this amendment? Um, the handwriting that he was writing would probably be him writing in cursive. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, the court has accepted the amendment to Mr. J's case that Mr. Sprett was seen celebrating when the realization that nobody could read the handwriting on the death certificate, which I believe was a number B or C rather, <laughs> right here. Uh, Mr. Sprett was seen celebrating when nobody could understand his handwriting on this death certificate. And that the reason it's so bad is because Mr. Sprett was writing in cursive. So there we go. Somebody's actually used amendments correctly. That hasn't happened. I don't think anyone's done that this year. So bonus points to you. Are there any further amendments you'd like to make to your case, Mr. J? Uh, no, I think that'll be all. Thank you. Very good. Uh, Mr. Bro, would you like to make any amendments to your case based on new evidence you've heard? No is an acceptable answer if you don't. Uh, no, I do not have anything else to say. Very good. Well, in that case, then, lawyers, we shall move on to the last part of court for the lawyers, which is the closing statements. And I said, I have thoroughly enjoyed this court case so far. It's been full of twists and nicks and, oh, this, this, this. It's, it's been a really good one. So, uh, ooh, I'm looking forward to this. And really, I would not want to be a juryman right now. So, um, we will be starting with the prosecution's closing statement. Again, two minutes to make a closing statement. Summing up your case in general telling the jury and telling me, referring to any evidence you want to and anything that's been brought up. Try not to insult people, though. Your time begins now. Um, I just, I do believe that I have summed most of it up in the case, but I would like to say, um, he...
celebrated during the, um, the fact that nobody can write his handwriting. The only person that would do that is if he either incorrectly wrote it down or correctly wrote it down, but was scared that people would use it against him, so he's happy that nobody could read his handwriting. Um, another thing, why would someone uh, uh, lie about the syringe or someone give, or the uh, defendant give false information to his defense lawyer. I don't really have much closing statement. I think that'll be all. Okay then, thank you very much for your closing statement and your case, Mr. J. You may take a seat. And Mr. Brow, I shall let you the floor for the last time today to make your closing statement. Two minutes and your time begins now. I would just like to say that the bread, I don't I think he was just feeding the bread because he knows he likes to eat bread. The birds like to eat bread, but I know it is bad for them, I've heard. And the syringe, there's two different sides of the stories, and I know it's, it's hard, but that's all I have. I don't have much. Thank you for your closing statements, Mr. Dry. Except closing statements can be a bit, uh, a bit stressful at times, so thank you kindly. You may take a seat. And that brings an end to the lawyer's case. And I said, this has been a real rollercoaster of a ride. I, I must admit, I know what my judgment will be, but my judgment is only pertinent to the curiosity of the accused. The jury being led by foreman Mr. Nutt. Nutt, fantastic name. You are now to retire using the door behind you to your conference room where you will spend up to 15 minutes deliberating the fate. If you have a tie, you may return and turn the judgment over to me, but try to come to a fair and just judgment. Mr. Donut, you may take them off. Uh, Mr. VK has, I don't know, eaten something, so that's fine. So off the jury pops. You too, Fen. Go on. Go on, Fen. Go on, Fen. I bet he's AFK. <laughs> uh, hmm. This is where it Shall we wait? We just or... don't have a jury. Okay, you three go. You three go and carry on. We'll just let Mr. Fen sit there. So, okay. yeah. Um, Buzz? Let me just quickly yeah. get this set up in preparation for their Will return. you come and, and deliberate uh, with us? Uh, Your Honor, I would just like to step towards the stand. I will be... That yeah. no, come here. Come here. Yeah, We're using the other room. Out of role play now. So oh. Because it's, it's, it's a bit further away, so we can hear better. Yeah, yeah, no, take a break. Sort yourself out. Come with us. Come with us first. We'll use another room. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. Well put together. Well thought out. Mm -hmm. You got a bit screwed over. We're going to be using the conference room over here because, uh... Yeah, it's further away from the court, so they won't hear us. Um, <laughs> this way. Basically, said he was a veterinarian, um, but I think he recovered fairly well on that. The amendment. Over here. Yeah, that is oh. from that. I kind of pulled away. This is the room we used last time, so I, I, I assume we should use right. it again. Okay, yeah. so definitely um, guilty. Yeah, I, I would say that the case, um, the case brought on by the prosecution, was very convincing here. What? Well, Sit? You can, you may sit, you don't have to, either way is fine. Um, yeah, I would say that the prosecution made a very solid case here against the uh, spread. Mm -hmm. Um, uh, they did get unlucky with... So that means, yes? if the prosecutor wins, that it's guilty. The defendant is guilty if the prosecution wins. That would, that would be a guilty, but big test. Um, can, yeah, um, so... Yeah, so the thing is, the prosecution made a very solid case here. They did get unlucky with the roll in the beginning, so that the death certificate was uh, was sort of, you know, up in the air. But uh, as it turned out, uh, we got the little evidence um, of, uh, or the little indicator of Sprett uh, being happy about it not being being readable. So, uh, and, and also, I would, yeah, go ahead. So also, oh, that's okay. <laughs> they made the case. Oh, he's just writing cards. I can read cursive. <laughs> right. So I can decrypt yeah. all that. Very nice, very nice. I would also like to put forth the logical fallacy that, in fact, uh, birds are not able to contract rabies, as rabies only affects mammals. So it is, in fact, impossible for a bird to contract rabies. Okay, See, that's so why I like uh, joking around on ones. I don't know actual factual stuff, so... <laughs> Yeah, 
I just happen to know that because I do have some medical knowledge. But yeah, yeah. well, uh, so I think I will. Uh, are we unanimous in that? Uh, in that, it is a guilty verdict. Yeah. So yeah. the prosecution takes the victory. Yes, Fas. Mm -hmm. I, I would say that uh, spread is in fact guilty. So I'm going to put forth that uh, birds can in fact not get rabies, and based on the prosecution, oh. we will. Uh, <laughs> conclude him as guilty okay guilty. all right okay let's go back all right let's go let's go back to the court yes that's a nice computer yeah whatever makes you happy <laughs> Well, that was quick. Um, I shall I just let you... Years of playing games, trust me. You know all the games come through. Right! The jury has made a speedy return, which is absolutely fantastic. Uh, are you all right, Mr. Bro? Yes, before we carry on? Here, whenever you pick up your... Um, I don't want to call it... Uh, whenever you pick up... Every, yeah, whenever you pick up that... Um, your voice gets louder, I just wanted to let you know. Ah, so that's how the microphone works. If you're holding the gavel, the microphone works. Now I, I shall hold the gavel forever, and you'll never escape my voice. Thank you for letting me know. He, he keeps changing the bloody map and the way it works, but okay. Thank you for that. Now I know, and this is why I like to talk to people of all ages, because you can learn something all the way through. <laughs> anyway, welcome back to VR Courtroom. The jury has returned. So, I know we're all waiting in uh, suspense. In this, I most definitely am. I said I already know what my judgment will be, but I'm not the jury. So, Mr. Donuts, as the foreman of the jury, has the jury come to a decision? The jury has, in fact, come to a unanimous decision. A unanimous decision. Very good, Mr. Donuts. Then, if you will be so kind, would you please reveal the judgment to the court? Sir, the, uh, the jury has come to the conclusion based on the logical fallacy that birds cannot in fact contract rabies and on the prosecution's case that spread is guilty as charged guilty as charged very good thank you jury for that and mr spread then uh, are you finding uh, jury is this a guilty for both crimes both murder and crimes against birds yes yes Right, well, so Mr. Spratt, you have been found guilty of both uh, the crimes accused of. I must admit the um, the rabies fallacy was indeed most likely the unsticking point of this entire case, but uh, so be it, Mr. Spratt, you have been found guilty of the crime of murder and crimes against bird. And therefore, I sentence you to death by taken into the cage of a bunch of incredibly horny and angry sulfur crusted cockatoos whilst being covered in bird seed and bird pheromones that they literally bite and fuck you to death until you are dead. Punishment to be proceeded immediately to court. I got a better one. Prosecution wins. <laughs> 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 